their co-religionists were always told about care so much about their co-religionists don't give a damn about their co-religionists they really don't muslims do not love other muslims they have no love for them they have no love for the palestinian peoples none hello welcome to my youtube channel hope you are feeling good today we are going to be checking out another video from uh, douglas murray titled the Israel and Palestine double standard. Wow, I believe this is going to be an interesting one. Let's start with the video. Go. I'm so fed up of the double standards and all of this. Um, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Muslims have been killed in the last 12 years by Bashar al-Assad and other Muslims in the civil war in Syria. There's no one on the streets of Sydney or Melbourne there's no one on the streets of London. We have seen hundreds of thousands of people killed in the last decade in Yemen, Muslims being killed. There's no one on the streets of Melbourne. Nobody is standing outside the Sydney Opera House calling gas the Hutu or ga gas the Houthi, get gas the Shia, gas the... Nobody's marching for the dead Muslims in Yemen. Their co-religionists were always told about care so much about their co-religionists. Don't give a damn about their co-religionists. They really don't. Muslims do not love other Muslims. They have no love for them. They have no love for the Palestinian peoples. None. If they had any, the Jordanians would have taken in the West Bank Palestinians. The Egyptians would have taken in the, 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 the territory they used to run, the Gaza and own the Gaza, and they would have taken in the Palestinians from the Gaza. Why have the Egyptians made sure that not one uh, Palestinian is allowed to leave Gaza? Why, why do they make sure that their border wall is tough as anything? What do they mind? One thing, Jews living. Jews living and Jews winning. It hits them deep in their soul, in their psyche. It's an ancient, ancient hatred. Perhaps the most ancient among the monotheisms. And uh, the deepest and the ugliest, the nastiest. And the one that has been least addressed. And we've imported it. As we sit here, um, roughly the same population, the population of Gaza, is being forcibly moved by the government of Pakistan. Almost two million Muslims are being moved by the Pakistan authorities into Afghanistan. Okay, we have a very large Pakistani community here in the UK. If their country of origin can do that, why can't we? If it comes to that, if it comes to that, if it has to come to that. Oh, why does nobody notice this? Why is nobody saying this is an appalling war crime by the Pakistani government? Well, only because there are so many Pakistani politicians and others in the UK and other countries who have a deep, a deep uh, a connection to their country of origin and would never want to, uh, to see it looked at in a bad way. Um, they will not criticise that. They haven't said a word about that. Um, so, no, I think that if you are zoning in, zooming in on Israel, lambasting Israel, and are basically not bothered with everything else in the world. You're not, you're not motivated by anything other than being anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic, um, of course. And, and it just has to be said, I mean, I've said this so many times that I, I tire myself with it, but it's necessary to say anti-Semitism is a shapeshifter. It's a shapeshifting virus. It can come from anywhere. At times in the past, it was the case that people didn't like Jews because they were seen to be a different religion and, and strange and different and so they were hated for their religion. Then after the wars of religion you couldn't hate anyone for their religion so people started to hate the Jews for their race. Then after the Holocaust you couldn't hate people because of their race anymore. So people hated the Jews because of their nation. On and on. Mm. Wow. What uh, an interesting uh, message, interesting conversation uh, between uh, Douglas Murray and Joan Anderson. Wow. And you can tell just by the facts, 
Douglas Murray have stated. You can tell Douglas uh, is someone that is very articulated, someone that is very sincere, someone that is very honest. Douglas is always ready to uh, say the truth. He's always ready to uh, stand by the truth. Just by what he said in this video that uh, the Muslims, they don't love themselves. And he, uh, he stated some facts in order to uh, back his statement that why is it that a lot of those uh, Muslim countries, they are not ready to accommodate uh, the people of Palestine. Uh, he mentioned uh, countries like Egypt, they have made their border uh, to be so strong, so uh, uh, the people of Palestine cannot come into their countries. And he also talked about uh, the massacre happening in Yemen, killing uh, the Muslims, killing themselves, fighting, fighting themselves. No one is talking about that. No one is protesting about that. What everyone is concerned about is how Israel can be uh, uh, eliminated by, uh, by Hamas, by Palestine. No one is talking about uh, the massacre happening in Yemen. No one is talking about the massacre happening uh, between uh, 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 the Middle Bet, between uh, one uh, Muslim country and another Muslim country fighting each other. No one is talking about that. What everyone is concerned about is uh, the conflict uh, between Israel and Hamas. And what everyone is concerned about is how they will be able to wipe Israel out of the map. And just... One thing I know is that there is one thing that is unique uh, to all these uh, Middle Belt countries, the uh, Middle Belt Muslim countries uh, that, pra that practice Islam. One thing is unique to them and is the fact that they are all looking for a way to be able to wipe Israel out of the map. They are looking for a way to be able to uh, eliminate, uh, el eliminate the Jews. That's one thing that is unique uh, to to. To those uh, middle belt countries that is uh, uh, that that is, uh, that is situated where Israel also is, Israel is their common enemy. They are always uh, looking for a way to be able to eliminate Israel. Just by the fact, uh, just by the fact, Douglas Murray stated in this video, if Muslims actually love themselves, uh, why is it that none of them uh, is ready to take in the people of Palestine? None of them is ready to accommodate the people of Palestine. None of them is ready to accommodate the people of Gaza. But instead, they are protesting against Israel. Why is they are not even ready to accommodate uh, the people they are supporting? I feel that is really absurd. Because if you are ready to show your support for Gaza, you are ready to show your support for Palestine, you are ready to show your support for Hamas, you should be ready to accommodate the people. And Douglas Murray also mentioned a point that actually triggered me because I never knew about this. I have no idea the people of Palestine are into something like that. From the point uh, Douglas Murray stated that uh, about 2 million Palestinian people were moved to Afghanistan, that should have been labeled as a war crime. But no one say anything about that. No one is talking about that. All they are all concerned about is how to eliminate uh, Israel, how to eliminate the Jews, which I believe uh, is very wrong. And I, for one, I believe today, if Hamas is ready, Hamas, which is in charge of the governance of Gaza, if Hamas is ready to lay down their weapon, I believe the e people of Israel, the IDF soldiers, also will be ready to lay down their weapon in order to uh, in order to end this conflict but i believe if israel are going to do the same thing to lay down their weapon i believe the uh, the people of gaza i believe hamas which have been labeled as a terrorist group will take that as an opportunity to wipe out the people of israel i really feel pain for those that have lost uh, their dear ones in israel those that have also lost their dear ones uh, in gaza I really wish, I really wish there is a way they can come for a two-state solution in order to be able to resolve this conflict. I really wish there's also a way the international communities can come in in order to be able to resolve this uh, problem between uh, Israel and Gaza because a lot of people have lost their life in this process. A lot of people have lost their life in this process and I believe what Israel wants is peace. 
What Israel wants is peace. Israel only goal is to eliminate Hamas, which has been labeled as a terrorist group, and they kept on attacking the people of Israel, uh, killing the people of Israel. What Israel wants, uh, Israel is trying to defend themselves in order to be able to eliminate uh, Hamas, which have been labeled as a terrorist group. But uh, you can see what is happening in the world today, both in America, in UK. You see a lot of people protesting against Israel, supporting Hamas that have been labeled as a terrorist group, which is really absorbed. And I feel the people engaging in such heart have been really indoctrinated into stupidity. You can see the fact clear. Hamas have been labeled as a terrorist group, but they kept on supporting Hamas. I see no reason why uh, uh, they are supporting Hamas. I really feel for those that have lost their life in Gaza. I don't know how true this fact is, but from the information uh, I'm getting, that whenever the people of Israel want to launch uh, a missile into uh, Gaza in order to be able to eliminate Hamas, they always inform the civilian at this time, at this hour, at this minute, we are going to launch a missile. Uh, in this location, civilian evacuate do, evacuate uh, this area, but uh, Hamas is not doing the same thing. Hamas is not doing the same thing. When Hamas uh, want to launch a missile, they don't inform the people of Israel. And even when the Israel launched their own missile to defend themselves, Hamas kept on using the civilian as shield. And at the end of the day, you see people blaming Israel uh, that they are killing civilians. And you can tell right from 2005 when uh, the people of Israel decide to give up the governance of Gaza in order to seek for peace. And they came into a peace agreement that the people of Gaza will no longer attack the people of Israel. The people of Israel, they gave up uh, the land which I believe was originally for them in order for them to come into peace with the people of Gaza, come into peace with the people of uh, Palestine. They gave up the land. And from the information I got from Google, according to statistics, that about 10,000 Israeli residing in uh, Gaza was forced out from Gaza by Israel, by the IDF soldier. And I believe those people forced out of this Israeli, forced out of Gaza, I believe some of them, they have uh, lands in Gaza, they have houses in Gaza, they have a lot of properties in Gaza. But they gave up all those property. They were actually forced out by the IDF soldier from the information I'm getting in order to uh, come into a peace agreement with the people of Gaza, with the people of Palestine. And from what, from the information I got that immediately uh, Israel gave up the governance of Gaza, uh, the people of Gaza voted Hamas into power. And ever since Hamas come into power, Gaza have become a living hell. That right now, currently, from the information I got on Google, that right now there is no uh, cost, there's no electricity in Gaza, there's no water in Gaza, there's no uh, uh, functioning hospital in Gaza, there's there, there's no of uh, enough food in Gaza. You can tell ever since Hamas uh, came into power, Gaza has become a living air. And believe me, they are getting funding from international communities. They are getting money. And ask me, what are they using the money for? Instead of them using the money to build Gaza up, to make life better for the citizen, they are using the money to, uh, uh, they are using the fund they are getting to build uh, tunnels, to build missiles in order to be able to attack the people of Israel. I really feel pain within me. I really hope uh, there could be a possible solution where there could be a two-state solution in order to be able to resolve the conflict uh, between Israel and Gaza. And if possible, if the UN, if the international communities can also come in to facilitate this two-state resolution, this two-state uh, uh, interaction, I believe this will go a long way. So I also like to hear your comments. I believe uh, Douglas Murray has stated his facts, and I also like to hear your comments regarding the points and the facts uh, Douglas Murray has stated. Keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.